Hey, I'm Professor Perez. Today, we are going to work on rounding numbers. Now, some of you are probably thinking, hey, when I round numbers, if it's five or greater, I do this and add one and do a somersault and a back flip or something like that. We'll get to that later, but first, we're gonna demonstrate rounding numbers on a number line. But before we get started, we need to get out our student volunteer, Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? We're yeah. gonna round numbers today. So here we go, right there. Round to the nearest 10. So here's a number line with tens on it, right? And we're gonna round numbers in between these tens to the nearest 10. Watch. Let's begin with the number 14. Now 14 is right in between 10 and 20, but it's closer to the 10. And so we say 14 rounds to the 10. That's the nearest 10. What about the number 16? 16 is in between 10 and 20, but it's closer to the 20. So we say 16 rounds to 20. That's the nearest 10 to the 16. Now, what about the number 15? 15 is right in the middle of 10 and 20. In this class, when we are right in the middle, we round up. That means we go to the right on the number line. So 15 rounds to 20. That's the nearest 10. Now, how about 4? 4 is in between 0 and 10. 0 counts as a 10. But 4 is closer to the 0, so we say 4 rounds to 0. The number 7. 7 is also between 0 and 10, but it's closer to 10, so 7 rounds to 10. 10 is right on 10, so the nearest 10 is obviously 10, so 10 rounds to 10. All right, let's round to the nearest 10 using larger numbers here. 33. 33 is right in between 30 and 40, but it's closer to the 30, so 33 rounds to 30. 86 is right in between 80 and 90. Well, it's not right in between. It's closer to the 90. So 86 rounds to 90. 45. Now 45 is right in the middle of 40 and 50. And when we're in the middle, remember we round up. That means go to the right on the number line. So 45 rounds to 50. 105 is right in between 100 and 110. When we're in the middle, we go to the right, we round up. So 105 rounds to 110. 186 is in between 180 and 190, but it's closer to the 190, right? And so 186 rounds to 190. 132 is in between 130 and 140, but it's closer to 130. Remember, we're rounding to nearest tens. And so 132 rounds to 130. Now let's round to the nearest hundred. Again, let's do this on our number line. So here's a number line labeled with hundreds. Now 43 is between zero and 100, but it's closer to zero. So 43 rounds to zero. There you go. 175 is between 100 and 200, but it's closer to 200. So 175 rounds to 200. Now 817 is in between 800 and 900, but it's closer to 800. You can see that on the number line. So 817 rounds to 800, that's the closest 100. 705, 705 is between 700 and 800. So the nearest 100 is 700. It's really close to 700, so 705 rounds to 700. 550 is right in the middle of 500 and 600. And when we're in the middle, remember we round up. That means go to the right on the number line. So 550 rounds to 600. That's considered to be the nearest 100. 375 is it between 300 and 400, but it's closer to the 400. So 375 rounds to 400. All right, now round to the nearest 10. Okay, here's some larger numbers. 1058. Is it closer to 1050 or 1060, Charlie? 1060. 1060, very nice. See, it's easy when you look at a number line, right? 1025, now that's right in the middle of 1020 and 1030, and when you're in the middle, you move which way, Charlie? To the right. Very nice, and so it rounds to 1030. That's the nearest 10. 1083 is between 1080 and 1090. Now, Charlie, is it closer to 1080 or 1090? 1080. Very nice, so it rounds to 1080. Okay, now let's talk about that rule. If it's five or greater, you do this, and so on. Watch. Let's go back to 1,058. It's obviously closest to 1,060, but here's the rule. When we're asked to round to the nearest 10, 
we find the digit that's in the tens place. In that case, it's that red five. And we look to the next digit to the right, which in this case is an eight. If that digit is five or greater, you add one to the digit in the place value you're rounding to. So since we're rounding to the nearest 10 and that red five is in it, we need to add one and it becomes the six. Now the numbers in front of the five, we just bring over and write out. And the numbers to the right of the five, which became a six, we just replace with zero and there's your answer there. Now what about 1083? The eight is in the tens place. So we'd look to the next digit to the right and that digit is less than five. So in this case, our digit in the place value we are rounding to remains unchanged, right? So we write it as an eight. We bring the numbers in front and we replace the numbers to the right with zero. And there it is, 1080. Now, round to the nearest hundred. This case, our five is in the hundreds place. So we look to the digit to the right, which is a three. That's less than five. So the five remains unchanged. We bring out our numbers in front and we write those in, and the digit to the right we replace with zeros, and there's your answer. Now let's round to the nearest 10,000. Here's a number, 1,088,325. Notice that red 8 is in the 10,000 space. So we go to the right, and we see an 8. That's greater than or equal to 5. So we have to increase that 8 by 1 and make it a 9. The digits in front, we bring over and write in, and all the place values to the right we are going to replace with zeros, and there's your answer there. 1,090,000. Now let's do this one here. 9,998,325. We're rounding to the nearest 10,000. That red 9 is in the 10,000th place. So we look to the digit to the right, which is an 8, and that's greater than or equal to 5. That means we have to add 1 to the digit that's in the place value we're rounding to, in this case, 10 thousandths. But 9 plus 1 is 10, so what happens? We get a carryover. We put 0 and we carry the 1 over to the 100 thousandths place. Now, 9 plus 1 is 10. So we put the 0 and we have to carry a 1 to the 1 millionth place, right? And 9 plus 1 is 10, so that becomes 10 million. And there's the digits in front of the place value we're rounding to. And all the digits to the right of the place value we're rounding to get replaced with zeros. And so there's our answer. 10 million. There you go. We'll see you again soon.